They sure was ass. I guess I get to finally play some G mod. Oh, I can't wait. I've been waiting all day to play some G mod. All right. Okay, we're loading in. Oh yeah, today I get to try out the new add-on. So it's called Kofu Library. Seems cool. We'll see what it does. Hey son, are you winning? Oh, what the? But little did Jacob know he would be getting more ass than he ever wanted. That intro didn't summarize this whole situation that I'm about to. Sup guys, Shaker Gamer Vlogs here, and today we are going to be talking about one cheek here, one cheek there. To sum up real quick, Gary's Mod is a game that you can buy on Steam, and it basically is a sandbox full of the uh, Half-Life 2 assets, and people can make mods and add-ons to this software or game and by anyone i literally mean anyone anyone can do anything on here so take that as a good thing or a bad thing so basically if you haven't been living under a rock you've probably heard of glue library or seen memes about it glue library is an add-on you can download to gary's mod and it was supposedly hacked maybe Heavy quotations, we don't know yet. But, uh, yeah, so people on June 3rd loaded into a game and you remember what I said in the intro? Specific word, ass. Oh, yeah, um, guess what they saw? Spread across their screen. Uh, obviously, for age restriction reasons, I'm not going to be going into heavy detail about what happened, but I'll be explaining uh, what happened on that day, just not with much detail, because I don't want this video to be age restricted. Or maybe I do. YouTube, you know what you did to act, man. But, uh, yeah, there was a pop-up of a guy, you know, and uh, it was a screamer. So it was, the screamer was basically if you got a shiny Charizard, yeah, it, you just heard that. There was a lot of gore popped up on many people's screens that, just for the record, if you have to have had Glue Library or many other add-ons downloaded by the creator to actually have this happen to you. So if you didn't have it downloaded, put down the mic for phone real quick. Good job. You don't get to see ass today. But uh, yeah, it got really weird. And I'll be explaining w the two theories on what they think happened. All right, so theory one is that the creator was hacked, and I mean, it, it is easy to get hacked, so it is plausible that this could be the reason. But I think more people believe the second reason, and I'm going to explain why in a second. All right, so the second reason was that he became an edgelord. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, because in the files, there was a bunch of words. Words. To uh, Valve, Gabe Newell, uh, the person that made Gary's mod himself. Um, and he was saying, like, pay me money or I'll kill you. Bitch, this is the internet. You can't kill me across a screen. Unless you have my location. How would you get it, though? Scary's mod. Yeah, I know. If this wasn't supposed to be a threat or, like, this isn't serious, he either got hacked or 
little edgy, little edgy the hedgehog. This moment will definitely go down in Gmod history as one of the weirdest things. Uh, it will go to the Gmod iceberg. Probably never going to be explained because we still do not have an answer even weeks later. But honestly, to sum up this video, I just want to say let's press F to pay respects for the people that were affected by it on June 3rd. Let's press F. I don't know if you could tell, but I did press F on my keyboard. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to get this out of the way. I wanted to talk about it real quick. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Peace.